We've been looking for a new project to work on for a while now, looking for something bigger and better than 2019's project bike. And as proud Queenslanders, we've been searching the state for businesses doing some extraordinary things in the building and trade space. Well today, we've got something to announce that's out of this world. Introducing Black Sky Aerospace, Australia's leading propeller manufacturer and launch service provider. They build rockets. So once Black Sky approached us with the idea of making a rocket exclusively with our own products, we just couldn't refuse. I'm Blake, I'm the CEO and founder of Black Sky Aerospace. Black Sky Aerospace is an exciting company. We have cutting edge technology to send payloads into space. Now these payloads, they're not people, but it's technology and we work closely with a whole bunch of organisations to do exciting data acquisition from space. We're super excited about the opportunity to work with trade tools. The rocket that we're going to build is quite large and it's quite powerful. And the only way we're going to be able to do this is with the right tools. So having the opportunity to have trade tools on board is super exciting and the team are pumped to get this happening. Working at Black Sky it can be tricky sometimes just because uh, it can get really dirty and messy in the workshop um, and we don't really have the right tools to keep everything clean. Tools get lost, we don't have toolboxes to store anything. Even just like sweeping the floor, we've only got like this tiny little broom and the, the workshop is huge, so it just takes so long to tidy up. My name's Brian, I'm the avionics team leader at Black Sky Aerospace. So my role with the Trade Tools rocket is I'll be putting the avionics package together to make it fly. So I'll be uh, programming it up so that when it goes up in the sky, the parachutes come out at the right time and we get the whole thing back safely. When it comes to heat and temperature control, one of the things we do is uh, composite work. Uh, and that requires a room that's got really good temperature control uh, so that we don't have to throw away parts if it gets too hot. So the tools that we have at the moment, I think they're all collected in one small toolbox. Some of our tools have decided to go walking and have disappeared. So that makes our tasks a little bit challenging at times. I'm Yasmin, um, I'm an engineer at Black Sky Aerospace. So with our rocket that we are teaming up with Trade Tools, uh, I will be responsible for making sure that all the components, all of the parts of the rocket are aligned. Um, just making sure that all of our bolts can go in together, um, things like that. With our current tools, we have a lot of organisational issues and it's causing loss of time and ultimately money. We really need to fix this. This is shaping up to be an awesome project. This is how it's going to go. Stage one has us giving Black Sky their well-deserved gear drop from Renegade Industrial and our friends at Milwaukee and Lavore. We're hoping to get rid of their pain points of heat and temperature control, dust and ventilation, tools and equipment, and finally organization. Stage two then sees us planning and manufacturing our rocket with stage three being our big launch. What a difference a new set of tools makes. It is amazing. We've got Renegade, Milwaukee, Lavor have absolutely changed everything, the way we do things. The change has just been amazing. So the new gear that we have is completely changed everything about how I work. I have a, a toolbox on wheels right next to my desk. So whenever I need to do any work on avionics, I just know exactly where all the screwdrivers are, all of the drills are, and it's easy to go find what I need. It's so exciting to have these new tools. Uh, the, what Renegade has brought to the party is amazing. We've got new gear from Milwaukee and the Vore. Now we have cool rooms that we can work in nice and comfortably. It's 
So trade tools have generously given us such a big variety of tools that can really help in assisting us with getting our uh, rockets built a lot quicker, a lot more efficiently. We've gone from corded tools to cordless tools. It's such an amazing change. We don't have cables in the way, so we remove risk. We now can take tools out on site. Just making the whole process a lot easier. I can use Renegade drill press. Um, I'll be using the Milwaukee cordless drill, um, some screwdrivers, tap and die set. In my role, uh, as we're putting the rocket together for final assembly, uh, we want to keep it clean and tidy and efficient so that we don't you know, put a bolt in the wrong place or you know, forget to put a screw in. So it's going to be really useful having things like the torque wrench to make sure all the bolts are done up tight, uh, having all of the vacuum equipment to make sure that the, that the workshop is nice and clean while we assemble the rocket together. That's going to make a huge difference for my role. We're really excited to be able to take trade tools behind the scenes to show you how we build rockets. Now we can't show you everything because there's a lot of trade secrets, but we have a lot of tools in play now that allow us to show you how you make composites, how we work on the fins and the metal work, and how the rocket motors are built. All the cool stuff that's gonna see this rocket fly. So starting at the very top, we have a nose cone. Super important, you can see by the design, it's nice and sleek, which cuts through the air. Behind me, I've got the team working on making the nose cone, which will be used in the rocket that we're doing for Renegade Rocket. They've got a bunch of tools that we need to measure to make sure that it's exactly the right size, because if it's off, the rocket might have all sorts of problems. It's also important that in this room, we have the right temperature and humidity control. And that's why I've got a Lavoie air conditioner, which helps with that. In the summer, it's super hot in here and it's absolutely horrible to work in, but the right equipment makes it so much easier. When the nose cone's finished, it's a fiberglass nose cone, super strong, super light, and this thing's gonna blast through the air, no problems. Right now, we're prepping up the airframe so they can get its fiberglass covering um, that'll protect it during flight. Got Elliot here, filing some of the parts, because some of these aluminium bulkheads are used to join sections of the airframe. And as you can see, the rocket is gonna be quite tall when it's finished. Now we've got the bulkhead machined and drilled, it's important that we get the bolts in there just right. And that's why we're going to use a Milwaukee M12 digital torque ramp. Milwaukee at the forefront of technology, just like Black Sky. So it's important that a company like us making precision aerospace equipment uses the right tools. And Milwaukee have just the tool for the job. So we finished the airframe of the Renegade rocket. You see at one end the nose comb will go on top, and at the other end up here, a motor and the fins. It's pretty exciting getting this bit done because this is one of the hardest parts of the actual manufacturing that we need to do. A whole bunch of different tools are used to produce this. And you would have seen earlier on the guys working through some of the equipment to actually make this come to life. This is obviously unpainted, so the next step is to get to the paint shop, use those compressors, and we'll get some paint, some decals on here. We use the plasma cutter to cut out the metal, which is actually gonna make the fins. Now the fins are really important. That's what keeps the rocket stable during flight. Now these fins, they're going to be mounted onto the airframe. So we have the finished airframe here and they have a special attachment that we put on. All of these holes here have been precision cut, so the measuring is super important. But this will make the rocket fly nice and straight and get us to our destination. We've got a 151 piece Renegade Industrial Toolkit. This thing gets used every single day. So right now we're assembling the actual avionics that's going inside the Renegade rocket. It's pretty exciting. This means we're getting really close to launch. So we pretty much finished our construction of the rocket using our Renegade Industrial Milwaukee and Lavore equipment. It's getting pretty close, I'm excited. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, that equipment has made our job so much easier. So we're really excited and looking forward to showing you what this rocket's gonna look like in flight. So it's, uh, it's coming up on 6.30, uh, we've just driven for uh, nearly five hours and uh, we're on our way out to a, a place called Funny Farm where today we're going to uh, hopefully see the Renegade rocket uh, take off and, and launch into space. And Lauren Schreiber, the director of the mission management team, has been 
pulling his group. Well, conducting a launch pull at this time. In order to give uh, Jim Harrington a go, along with the rest of the launch team. Copy. Engineering director. Oh, Jim, engineering go. Copy. SNMA director. SNMA uh, is ready to go. I copy. Range weather. Launch director, we have an open strike to launch. Copy that. And launch manager. Uh, Tim, the MMP is working. No issues. You're clear to launch. After Black Sky received all their new gear from Renegade Industrial, Milwaukee and Lavore, and the precise and meticulous construction of the rockets being completed, the day has finally come. It's launch day. After the installation of the top secret motor, Jeremy is tasked with attaching the nose cone to the motor unit. The conditions are perfect for launch, so the launch tower is transported out. Funny Farm was chosen as the launch location as it meets a very specific criteria for safe launches. One aspect being a large enough clearance zone for when the rocket launches. The rocket is then transported to the launch tower before the motor and nose cone are attached. Being 6 metres long, it takes a team effort to carefully transport the unit. With the rocket reaching a speed of up to 1.5 times the speed of sound and launching as high as 14,000 feet or 4 kilometers in the air, the construction and assembly needs to be precise and perfect. Once the motor and nose cone are locked in, it's time to raise the tower. Then some final preparations are made and it's time to launch. Parachute has successfully deployed. Now drifting 54 feet per second. One hundred feet. Fifty feet. It has touched down. Successful launch, we've had a bit of search around, we found the rocket, um, 
Blake, that was awesome. Thanks so much. Really, uh, really appreciate everything you've done for helping us launch the, the Trade Tools Renegade Industrial Rocket. Absolutely, it's been a pleasure. What a project. I think we need to go bigger. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> it's been such a great journey since we met Black Sky. And along with Renegade Industrial, the help from Milwaukee and Lavore have made this project a breeze. We've loved being a part of this project. And if you've enjoyed the series, leave a comment and let us know what you'd like to see next. Until then, thanks for watching.